Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Reunion 7, which is created by the developers of Reloaded 7 and Classic 7, which you've both taken a look at in the past. This is a mod of Windows 10 LTSC 2021 that replicates Windows 7. And for one of my viewers on a previous video, they have told me that this really replicates Windows 7 exactly. And I mean, it's even starting strong here on their website. I mean, just look at how similar this resembles the Windows 7 website from back in the day. The downloads page, we're actually taking a look at version 0.9 here. Uh, I can't wait to see what 1.0 brings, but 0.9 is the version we're taking a look at as it's the latest. But just look at how similar this looks to the Windows 7 website. Here are credits, a whole bunch of thank yous to these people because it's crazy um, how many people actually it went in to make this. Everything here is crazy. So I'm very excited to see what this OS looks like and let's get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and boot up the virtual machine. We're gonna boot from the live ISO, hopefully into the installer, uh, and let's see what happens. Remember, this is LTSC 2021, so we are seeing that Windows 10 startup screen here. I'm hoping they did some customization for the boot up screen once it's installed. You could really tell me this is Windows 7. I don't think I'd be able to tell a difference. I mean, this is so identical to the installer of Windows 7. There's no way anybody could legitimately tell this is running Windows 10 right now. All right, so here's our end user license agreement custom and install on that disk and that was it but i mean just look at this arrow theme i mean everything looks like windows 7 this is crazy all right and here we are in the out of box experience now we can see this does look off from windows 7 i mean it's kind of like it looks similar but it can't fully replicate it but again remember we're still on 0 0.9 here 1.0 i'm sure we'll fix that and also resizing the window it doesn't actually scale it just kind of you know brings up dead space but we'll go ahead and name this windows for now uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip the password and I don't have a product key so we'll skip that we're gonna go with Windows 7 professional next uh, we can select colors so we'll go with our standard the blue with the Windows 7 wallpaper and that flower and here we are finalizing our settings yeah that window is definitely something that should be fixed in the future because I don't think that window can actually be resized in the real Windows 7 but I digress all right, and here we are inside of this Windows 10 LTSC mod. First things first, just the first appearance of the desktop is, I really think this is Windows 7. No one could tell me that this isn't Windows 7. But let's look around and see if we can really pinpoint where this OS falls short. So on the desktop, we can see we have our computer, which does show as Windows 7 Professional with a genuine Windows activation. We have our recycle bin, which again looks pretty normal. We have our README file for Reunion 7, which is just, a, again, it's a README file. It tells you some notes, planned fixes, change logs, blah, 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 all this fun stuff. And again, those credit people here. Um, and they do credit us here at the end. Next, we have a stuff folder, which contains resources for the boot screen, control panel, user tiles, VM user warnings, a guide for how to get clipboards and things here which we won't worry about we just want to use this as vanilla um, and then a regional theme picker so we do have some additional things on the desktop that would not have came with a original Windows 7 install moving down to the taskbar we have our traditional start menu our file explorer Windows media player and then over on the right side we have our show desktop button our clock our volume controls with the Windows 7 sounds our network settings VMware tools which I installed that our action center, our safely remove hardware, and Bluetooth devices. So let's go ahead and take a look at File Explorer since I already have it open and that really is what defines Windows 7. I mean File Explorer is where you do everything. So we can see first thing I noticed is that we have home group here and you actually do have home group settings. Um, so you can actually really go in and do things with home group um, in this build. Again running Windows 10. So we have our desktop folder and just look here's our all the icons from Windows 7 are back, which this is crazy. I mean, like I said, there's no indication that this really is Windows 10. Recent places, we have our documents, music. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is lacking here is that default Windows 7 music. We gotta get that in the OS because that was a true staple. Uh, we, but we do have our sample pictures though, um, including this one, which I remember very well. But we do have our sample pictures, so they did remember that, and then nothing in videos. But we have to get that sample music back. Or maybe it was in Media Player. It very well could be in Media Player. I may be wrong. Let's see. Yeah, no, there's nothing in here. I know that there was sample music. I can't remember who it was from, but we got to get that in this build. Moving into the Start menu, we can see we have all of our traditional Windows 7 applications like Getting Started, which does actually open the Windows 7 Getting Started screen. 
Windows Media Player, a Windows 7 themed calculator, uh, the Sticky Notes application, Snipping Tool Paint, RDP, Magnifier, Solitaire, WordPad, and of course the README doc, but that's because I opened it. Moving into all programs, we can see that we have really Windows 7 things up and down the board, including Windows Update, which I don't know if this will actually do, yeah, I don't think this will do real Windows updates. I think it just is kind of there for looks. Um, under accessories, we have all of our traditional Windows 7 accessories, our accessibilities, system tools, tablet, PC, as well as our PowerShell. We have games. Anybody who knows, I say this every time I see it. My favorite game from Windows 7 and Windows Vista was Purple Place. I have a lot of memories playing that um, on a Vista computer. But we have all of our Windows 7 games here, nothing too out of the ordinary. Typical maintenance, backup and restore, recovery, help and support, Windows remote assistance. Uh, open with X, I don't know what this actually is. I'm not too familiar with what Open with X is, um, but it lets you change the theme for some things. So I'm assuming it's something that have to, has to do with the theme, but I just don't know what it actually changes. In our startup, we have things that actually have to run on startup to make this OS work. So favorites fix, gadget startup, Reloaded 7 update checker. So apparently Reloaded 7, just from looking at this, will update itself. Um, whenever the OS boots, which is pretty cool. So like when version 1.0 comes out, it should just update itself over the air. And then we have our Windows administrative tools. So typical Windows things, nothing too out of the ordinary. I am seeing the security settings here, like Windows Advanced Firewall. This is on, the firewall is on. So, you know, some custom ISOs, they completely skip on, out on the security features. This one has this on and working, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at our CPU and RAM usage because that's another big thing with custom ISOs. Sometimes they just suck at managing RAM and CPU. So we are utilizing 0, 1%, 4% of our CPU and then 1.6 gigs out of 8 gigs for this VM. So not bad, uh, typical Windows 10, 11 CPU usage like that. As for disk space, we currently have 13.4 gigabytes used, leaving us 45.9 gigs free on a 60 gig VM disk. Not bad, again, that's a typical Windows 10 installation size. Nothing too crazy there. Let's go back and take a look in here and let's see what this really looks like because I just glazed over it earlier. Windows 7 Professional Copyright 2009 Service Pack 1. Those are all of our specs. And then we have Windows activated with the real genuine Microsoft software sticker. It does appear to let us run a Windows rating though, um, which we're not gonna actually carry through with it, but it's interesting that they included this here. I'm really curious to know how they were able to do this because this is a lot. I mean, this is incredible at the fact that they were able to do things like this. Um, even like this Windows Snap animations, those are the Windows 7 animations, which is really just, it's crazy they were able to do that. And finally, let's go ahead and check out Winver, Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1 7609, 7601, sorry. So that being said, this is a brief overview of Reunion 7. I love this build. It is really interesting. It's built to perfection almost. I mean, aside from that one little thing in the setup screen, if you put this in front of me, I would not be able to tell that this was not Windows 7. I would say this is Windows 7 all day. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. Thank you all for 13,000 subscribers, and I'll see you all in the next one.